Okay, let's talk about audio. Let's talk about downloading movies from the cloud down to your device and that can be either an iPhone or a smartphone because not everybody has an iPhone. It can be a tablet or an iPad or it can be your laptop or desktop or MacBook or what you have and you download the movies and you want to watch them. And I have a rule simply because you smaller devices, you smaller the speakers are and then the sound will never be enough, especially if you're talking about a smartphone. Here's an iPhone 4S and if you look down here in the bottom, there is speakers, but they're not that good. So what I say is that on a phone or smartphone, I will watch it myself, not to one person. And when I'm outside the house where there is background noise, it could be in the car, it could be in the train, it could be in the plane, it could be many places, then there are background noises, then I will hook up a set of, of headsets here. Take them and hook them up to your phone and you get the best sounds, really. And if it comes to an iPad, I always say two people can watch it at an iPad. You can put a little bit more, but then you better get some external speakers. If you're two people with an iPad, then again I will get a divider, then I will hook up two headsets, because the screen is big enough for the two people can watch a movie on an iPad, but I still like when it comes to the smaller devices that I want a better sound, therefore I'll do it on a pair of headsets, or I will hook up an external speaker. When it comes to my desktop, laptop, MacBook Pro, or what it is, then yes, two or three people, then it's fine, but if there are more, then I better get it hooked up to an Apple TV or any streaming device and then put it on the big TV and then have a surround system hooked up so that you get a better sound, really. But what I wanted to show you here is that this is the iPhone and in regards to the sound here, if I go in and play a movie here, let's see if I can uh, make this work. Uh, I can't see the play button, but let's see it down here. Then you will see here there's a movie, and I'll try to be a little quiet, and you can hear the sound. And when you listen to, you can see here the volume is on max, and yes, you can hear it, but it doesn't take much of a background noise like in a car or in a plane and so on, where you will have some issues in regards to the sound. And that's where the headset comes in, yeah. So this is where, when you see it on an iPhone here, or on smartphone in general. Then let me show it on an iPad. So let me just turn this off. So, and then let me show you on an iPad. So here we have an iPad. And again, when you watch an iPad or you want to watch a movie, download it from the cloud to your iPad and then play it. If you're one person, get a headset, hook the headset up. If you're two people, get a divider and then simply hook up two headsets. And if you want more than two or so on, then get an external speaker set like here and then hook that up to the iPad. And let me show you the difference in the sound when you, it comes to the iPad and when you play with speakers and without external speakers. So let's just demonstrate that here. So here we play it on an iPad and again the speakers has a certain limit. So if you're seeing one or two people, yes you can see without headsets and without external speakers and so on. If there is no background sounds like car ride, train ride, airplane or in a place where there is crowds. So let me just show you how it sounds when you put external speakers on. Okay, so now here, took the headsets off, then I attached external speakers to the iPads. And as you can see over here now, it's about 80% in regards to the volume. And then let's see how that sounds when you attach external speakers. 
People would say, hi, bae. Time went on, neighborhood got rougher. He'd say hi, they'd say, keep on stepping. Granddad got to gripping that lunch bag a little tighter. And I think it's yeah, great sound when you think it is played <laughs> on an iPad. Every week some punk would say, what's but, in the bag? But as again, download the Enjoy. movies from the cloud, ones, down to the device you want to play it man. from, and then if the device is smaller, then use your headset Granddad or external people. speakers. But he didn't trust them very much. Yeah, I know. They're a little bit bigger than a 22. Okay, so here we see a uh, MacBook Pro. I've loaded the movie, ready to play it. Let's hear how it sounds when it is turned up on a laptop, how good the sound is. So here is the movie. Let's start playing it. And as I said, when you sit one, two or three people in front of a laptop, that could go. But if you want to be more and the whole family has to watch it, then I will suggest you bring it up on a bigger screen, on a TV set. Uh, in my case, I do it over a uh, Mac TV. I stream it from my laptop or my iPad, sometimes even from my smartphone, and then to the TV. But here, this is played on a uh, MacBook. And it has to be said that you can get software for your desktop, your laptop, your MacBook here. You can get software where you can even increase it more than 100%, where they have built in like an amplifier where you can amplify the sound, but you have to be careful because sometimes that will distort the sound when you do that. Uh, here right now it's done on QuickTime player and it can only go up to 100%, but in a few seconds I'll try to load it with another software. This is the Max. So let me try to play it on something called VLC that can amplify it 200% the sound on a laptop or a desktop. Okay, so here now I'm running it on a program called VLC and it will help you in regards to the volume. So that if you do it to a, the, the quick time, then you can only go up to 100% of your hardware. Here the software will make up in regards to the the sound so that you can make it 200% more. Uh, so here I can just turn the, the dial on the mouse and you can see up in the right corner here it will go up. You can see now I'm exceeding. And this program will help you so that you can put even more volume on your laptop, desktop, where you're playing it. Let me turn a little bit down. And then the advantage by doing it this way is that when you're playing it on a laptop, if you want to see it on a laptop, yeah, but then you can also take the external speakers that we hooked up to the iPad you can hook that up to your computer also. So let me just show you how that sounds when the speakers are hooked up to my MacBook Pro. So now we have hooked up the external speakers to the MacBook Pro here. And then now we'll play it again in QuickTime where we can only take advantage of the 100% in regards to the audio. So let's play it here again. So here we'll just give me a second. We'll turn the volume a little bit down. That's better. Yes, I do. That's when you put external speakers on it on your laptop. And here you 
don't need to load it to a specific software like the VLC where you can uh, increase the volume up to 200% where you get more out of the speakers that is already in the MacBook Pro or your laptop, but that you can just play it in, like here, the, the QuickTime player, and then just with external speakers, and you can hear the difference, really, when you play them on external speakers because there is much more volume in it, much more depth. The weapons ready, so they had killed and everything that's fired on them. Get the guns online and we ram this thing. They kill my brother and every man on his ship. So next, I will suggest that we take a look how we can do it over the TV set and how that sounds. And that's if you're more people, then download it from the cloud down to your device, like an iPad. You can even do it for your iPhone. And you can also do it from a laptop. You just need certain software to communicate. Uh, first of all, you need the newer operation system to take advantage of AirPlay. You need at least Yosemite, and uh, soon we will have El Capitan. So then you will take advances of the AirPlay. If you have an older MacBook or an older computer, then sometimes you need an extra piece of software that can help you to take advances of AirPlay. But if you have other streaming devices, then many times they come with the software needed to play uh, and to stream video to your TV set and your surround system. So here I have hooked it up to my iPad. That means that I downloaded the movie from the cloud to my iPad and then I am streaming it to my Mac TV or Apple TV. I have it over here. And here it goes up to the TV set. And it is hooked up to the surround system over here so that I can amplify the sound. So let's take a look here in regards to when you stream it from an iPad. You can also do it from a smartphone or from an Android. It depends on how the setup is and you don't need an Apple TV for doing what I'm doing. There are other streaming devices out there, but I like the Apple family and, and the way works and also how easy it is to hook it up. So and then you can raise the volume a little bit here. You want more volume. But I think that's good if you want to so if you want to let the family see it with you on a bigger screen with the sound. But that's the way I would go about it in regards to downloading the movies and then instead of just seeing it on a smartphone or a a tablet and so on because again I feel that it's limited a smartphone one person the iPad or tablet I think two is a max and then if you want to look at an, an, an a MacBook Pro or a laptop then perhaps two or three people but if you want to sit the whole family down with a seven eight people and so on then I'll suggest that you stream it from your device to like here to an to a Mac TV and then up on a bigger screen and so on. That's the way I would go about it. I hope that have helped you and I hope you come back for more.